this is very funny. They are asking me the art of medicine. Does medicine have an art? Yes, they had an art. A very beautiful art. And that art is called the loving art. Anything which is given with love is an art. Yes. And in our school, Rakum schools, I used to always ask, get me tea. And then I continue. It should be giligili tea. And everybody asked me, what is a giligili tea? I said, when my children make tea, I ask them to mix a little bit of love into it. <laughs> it was giligili tea. Same is the medicine. Hence, Hippocrates said, let thy food be thy medicine. Your own food, that means your Sanskrit food, your, your cultural food, food which uh, just to your circumstances and to your climate, which you got used to it, the body got used to it, which is made with the love. And always every person says mother's meal. That heals itself. Yes. Andreas Vesalius, born on 31st of December 1514 in Belgium, was sorry, died on 15th October 1564 in Greece, was a 16th century anatomist, physician, and author of one of the most influential books on human anatomy. De humani corporis fabrica libriceptum on the fabric of the human body in seven books. Vessel is often referred to as the founder of modern human anatomy. He was born in Brussels, which was then part of Habsburg, Netherlands. He was a professor at the University of Padua and later became imperial physician at the court of Emperor Charles V. Andres Vesalius said, the more fashionable doctors in Italy began to delegate to slaves the manual attentions they deemed necessary for their patients. That art of medicine went to ruin. So beautiful, is it? Shockingly said in the 15th century. And as centuries passed, the communication gap widened so much, we don't find any human beings. And then the psychologist, psychiatrist blossomed in every corner of the world just to teach people how to love. And they were thinking the more literate you become, the more literate becomes, means the more better schools you send your children to the best universities. You think love blooms, but you didn't know that uh, you are sending them to strangers to teach them gibberish, rubbish. For the slave masters to make more money through your children, through your hard labor. Hence, Andrew Swissell is the more fashionable doctors and fashionable doctors, yes. Began to delegate to slaves the manual attention they deemed necessary for the patients. When the doctors started giving to the manual, delegate the slaves the manual attention, slaves those days. Here we have nurses. We got the ward boys. And in the house, we got the maid servants. In the schools, we got teachers, pity masters. We got university professors. And you are finished. A third person tried to teach your child. And when the child comes back, the child has only knew that you are a third person. You are there to feed me and it is my duty to finish you as fast as possible. Ask for a share of your property and throw you out into the dustbin of history, into the old age homes or wherever it is possible. And this we said, the more fashionable doctors in Italy, more fashionable parents become. Began to delegate to slaves, began to delegate their children to their maidservants. servants. 
not even to the grandfather or grandmother because the family which is together each of the grows together that family has been broken and then you don't have connecting link to the joint family where the family tree when these three has been disconnected the slave masters knew you have been purchased they made you nobody they are remote controlling you my own personal experience of running the rakam school for the blind i had children with tb tuberculosis i had children with blood cancer and most of the time the children fall sick exactly at midnight 12 o'clock and i have to rush them up to from from my bangalore indranagar to kidwai cancer hospital night 12 o'clock when i go there they don't give a damn to you you're shouting and screaming i have to make a very big fight at least get the child admitted for the night when i took the child inside they asking me to get out i am not supposed to go inside and it was a girl child and i went inside the sister, the nurses were just sitting there were hardly i could see any doctors the whole ward and the ward boy comes fully drunk and he is asking my girl remove the dress remove the dress i asked the sister what kind of boy is this she said he is a ward boy we have no authority even to talk to him they are big gangsters running over there yeah and people who are sick cannot say anything i said in this condition i cannot admit my child i took the child back yes i was going in a motorbike and in yelahanka i met with an accident i fell down i was admitted in chinmay mission hospital by night 12 o'clock i had severe chest pain when they complained they said i should be put into the icu intensive care unit I said no. I don't believe in ICU. I will not go to ICU. Then all the doctors came and convinced me. Said at least for the night. When I went inside the ICU, they said remove your clothes. They want to uh, bring me here, bring me all my all my all my private parts. I said don't touch my body. I am your swamiji. I don't believe you. Don't touch me. They said then you cannot be here. I said I did not ask to be brought over here. They relented and then allowed me to be there in the night. and i was shocked the nurses from one corner to another corner were screaming with all the patients inside the icu they were screaming one is asking what did you made for your husband and another said this is the recipe for my husband and then a phone call comes she's picking up loudly she's telling doctor doctor nobody died so far nobody died so nobody died doctor was not asking whether patients are okay whether medicines are given in time how are they doctor was only asking how many died can you believe when you delegate it up andries were selected the more fashionable doctors in italy began to delegate to slaves began to delegate to nurses and to ward boys the manual attention they deemed necessary for the patients for the children for their own wife and for their own parents then the art of medicine went to ruin the art of love went to ruin art of connecting got disconnected the communication gap only widened so deep down yes they took me for the dry ct scan wet ct scan and by morning when they and went out they said okay you cannot you don't have to come to ic when i complained you know they ganged up they ganged up this happened in chinmaya mission hospital the doctors and nurses all ganged up they started writing letters against me shouting you are stupid you are this how dare you talk like that <laughs> began to delegate to slaves the manual attention they deemed necessary doctors have no time even to check the patients talk to the patient write in greek and latin and the same happened to the political leaders same happened to the teachers to the professors and then the family got totally dislocated and now everybody is living in fear in the name of education you need a highly literate everybody is going high beautiful salaries to buy mansions villas they all stay in the five crore one half a million or a million indian rupee flats they are living yes 10 million 15 million yes 20 million 100 million mansions they are staying living in fear 
No proper water, no proper electricity. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Come out of that. Go back to your family. I know you are delegated to the slaves, to the schools and universities and children. At least the evening when you come back, leave your slippers and your mind outside and then sit bum to bum with your wife and your children. Then you can see the connecting links. There is no diseases. When love is there, love moves mountains and oceans. No disease, you are healthy. With that, you can connect back to your joint family and your family tree. And in one call, you get most of the works done. You know your people are in everywhere in that beautiful pyramid. Go back to the entries. They say, listen, the more fashionable doctors in Italy, the more fashionable parents in India began to delegate to slaves the manual attention, the dimness. They began to delegate to ayahs, maidservants, nurses, teachers, professors. The manual attention they deem necessary for their students, for the children. That art of medicine went to ruin. Don't ruin. It's not lost. Nothing can be lost. Only be conscious. That consciousness is your meditation. That consciousness is your truth. Join like this, but the hands just move far away. Not to bless, but to connect back. Look how you feel when you join both hands together, I and you together, positive and negative creates electricity.